Welcome to Meathead. Today we're going to do a 4th of July classic, chicken wings. Let's get started. Alright, first thing we're going to do is, uh, I just bought a package of uh, these Tyson chicken wings here uh, from the store. And we're just going to separate everything, separate the wings. Just gonna throw them in the pieces away. And what we're gonna put in these, uh, we're gonna marinate these for about maybe three, four hours in some Italian dressing. Then we're gonna put them on the smoker. Then we're gonna finish these things off on the Big Easy. Oh, you don't know what the Big Easy is? <laughs> You're about to find out. Also, when doing these wings, there's a little uh, piece of fat right here. You see that? Right, there. right here, right along here. What we're going to do is just going to cut that off too. Okay, cut that off. Cut off on all the flats. Makes it look a lot better too. All right, next step is to put these wings into a a bag. I'm gonna put these into uh, one of my uh, food saver bags here. So just gonna go ahead and hit the seal button. Seal up one end. Wait for it to heat up. And we're gonna put an Italian dressing. I'm doing some of my rub and a little bit of soy sauce. Then on top, we're going to be putting some of this, uh, the stuff I picked up from the uh, store, some, some, some chicken rub. I'm going to try it out. I'm just going to coat it with that. Alright, this is uh, done sealed. So I'm going to open up this end right here, put the chicken in. Italian dressing into the bag. Then we're gonna put a little bit of some, a little bit of soy sauce in there. Give me about a quarter cup. There we go. That's it. We're gonna mix it up. Get all the juices moving around. We're gonna come over here. To the food saver, and now we're just gonna suck all the air out and we're putting it in the fridge. We get a nice sealed bag of chicken wings. We're gonna let these marinate in the, we're gonna let these here marinate in the uh, fridge for maybe three to five hours. And I'll be back up that time after I get the, the coals all fired up on the, on the smoker. these bad boys open. But first we're going to layer the, uh, the chopping board here, some paper towels. The Big Easy is an oilless turkey fryer. I got it uh, back in November for Thanksgiving and we use it all the time. It gives it like a nice uh, fried taste to your food without actually having to deep fry it. You get this excess moisture off of here. I got the uh, I got the Oklahoma Joe smoker going right now. We're gonna be using uh, apple wood today on the Oklahoma Joes. And uh, all right, that's good. I'll see you outside. All right, everybody, just got out here to the smoker. Let's get these wings on. Uh, we're gonna try to get these wings about uh, about 250 degrees. Um, well, the temperature of the smoker at about 250 degrees. Uh, but right now it's a little bit around right about 225. But there's so much smoke. See behind me, there's a lot of smoke coming out. It's kind of hard to pass that smoke up because we're only going to smoke these things for about an hour. Then we're going to finish them off on the Big Easy. So let's look at this. Alright. See all that smoke? That's a good thing. It's going to get a little bit of space between each uh, wing so we can get some smoke on them. 
so smoke can work its way around there. All right, here we go. Closing the lid. Oh, just forgot. Let's put some uh, some of the simple my simple rub recipe. Uh, put some of this on there, just a little bit, and spread that around. Now my simple rub. All it is is basically sea salt, garlic, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, pepper, and celery seed. And then when they start getting uh, um, almost done, we're gonna go with uh, some some, ch some kicking chicken, spice it up a little bit. So, all right, I'll be back in about an hour when we're ready to take these things off. They got a nice smoke going on them. All right, starting to get a nice. Uh, starting to get in here. They are already getting a real nice uh, color to them. Look at those things. Those are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wings. Look at that. A nice color to them already. Okay, let's get these things flipped over and get some more rub on the other side. Right, now I'm just going to go ahead and treat this side right here. Some simple rub. Nice little coating, and then towards the end, when I put them on the, uh, when I put them out there on a big easy, I'm gonna put this stuff on there. So, all right, I'll be back in a half hour. All right, it's been a, it's been an hour. I'm taking these off now. These are feasibly they're done. Now we could you can eat them just like this, but I want to get a nice crispy skin on here. Uh, look right here. See how nice and uh, dark those are? That's exactly what you want to see right there. It's a beautiful, beautiful color on there. And now we're just going to throw these on the Big Easy. You're about to see what the Big Easy is. So I'll be right back after I get that all. Actually, I'll just see you back inside. I got to prepare the basket for these. All right, we're back inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half of these wings with the uh, with the, uh, the kicking chicken seasoning. Only half. Flip them over. There we go. Now we're gonna do these wings is here's the basket for the Big Easy. What I did right here is you can tell these little mesh screens right here. These are for uh, like your fish and stuff. And all I did, I just folded one and I shoved it inside here. So now I get two extra layers that I can put stuff onto. So all I would do is just uh, put the chicken wings inside here. Let me see, turn that camera so I can get it there better. Put the wings inside here. And so I have no problem taking all these wings. Just try to keep a little bit of a, a gap between. Then the other ones I'm just gonna leave uh, just naked the way they are. I'm not gonna try to put anything on there. Now here's the ones that are they're naked. I'm gonna put them on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, some of these on the top rack out there. And you'll see. This thing's pretty cool. It's gonna crisp that skin up, just like fried chicken. All right, let's get these outside. Okay, here we are outside with the Big Easy. Um, the thing with the Big Easy is it uses infrared. So what it is 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 it's powered by propane. The inside here gets really hot. In fact, you can't even touch. It says hot surface. So what I'm gonna do is you have this rack right here. I'm gonna place the rack inside here. And then this lid is supposed to go on top to keep everything nice and crisp inside there. But what I do is I use it, I flip it over, and I use it as another tray. And I put wings or whatever I need. I've used, I've done uh, chicken legs, I've done chicken leg quarters, I've done steak, I've done uh, hot dogs, I've even done bacon out here. And uh, it comes out nice and crisp, even though you do it on a top rack. Um, so I have to probably flip it over on the top rack, but the ones on the inside, I'm not going to have to flip those over at all. It would just get the whole thing uh, right inside. I'm going to take this thing off the tripod here. Okay. So this is what we got. It's on right now. Here's a propane tank. Got a gas on. Here's how you light it up. You, it, this is off. This is on. Then this is the igniter button. You just turn that and it lights it up. And if that ever doesn't work, you have a little spot right here to put a match into to light the gas up. But in about probably probably two, three minutes from now, this thing's really gonna be piping hot. 
and I'm going to keep these things on here for probably about a half hour to get that uh, that skin nice and crispy. So it's going to be uh, smoked uh, chicken on the inside and nice fried skin on the outside. I'll show you the final product is here in a little bit. All right, these are done. I forgot to to hit record on the uh, the thing. I already started pulling them off. Here we go. How they look like right there? They have that nice crispy skin, like fried almost. See that? That's beautiful. And that is delicious. Now the ones on the bottom really aren't ready to go yet, because here's the here's the bad thing with the Big Easy is with the Big Easy. Um, what's towards the bottom really doesn't cook all that good. It doesn't cook all that fast. So what you gotta do is you gotta move the stuff from the bottom up to like the middle or the top in order for it to start getting a better crisp. Like when you do a turkey, the top and a and a the like the half and the and the top part of the turkey, it will get fried. But then the bottom part, it's like almost there's nothing on there. It doesn't get crisp at all. So I'm gonna move those to the top. All right, I moved these uh, to the to the top part of the rack here. I'm putting them back in for maybe five more minutes, and they'll be uh, completely good. Good thing of taste. I'm gonna end it right here. Here's uh, here's one of them. I got the the, the nice spicy uh, rub on too. That's so freaking good. You gotta try this for your Fourth of July. Um, uh, meal or even an appetizer or snack this will work phenomenal but anyhow um, hey hit the thumbs up hit that bell get notifications and until next time see ya